First pitch coming. Here it is. On the ground to the right side. Kendrick from deep in the hole. Throw in time at first. A nice play in short right for the first down. Got a couple. And here's the former first round draft choice Brandon Nimmo past battles with Scherzer he's gone just two for 13 he's taken him deep once and he fouls this one off 65 degrees our temperature here at first pitch. Hit weakly back to the mound on the first and Scherzer's on a roll now two away. So bases are empty the here with two gone and that will bring in Jeff McNeil. Here's the first pitch to him. Slap hard the opposite way. Soto is there and they breeze through this half inning as the side is retired. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. And a look now at the hometown Nationals starting lineup. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Matty, I know this team can swing the bat. But one thing I'm focused on, and I think a huge key for this team, is base running. And I'm not necessarily saying stolen bases. Just being aggressive on the base pass. Putting a defense on. There he goes. Taking the extra base. Maybe that send from first to home. That's what I'm hoping to see. McNeil is up with it. And a good throw gets him one gone. In now is Adam Eaton in previous duels with the Grom, batting at an even 400. The pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. Fouled off. away. Hey I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation but I think if we're being honest with ourselves that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there two away. Another strikeout for him on the mound and boy is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt Matty. he's one of my favorites mostly because of his stuff. You know he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. In now is Anthony Rendon. As the first pitch misses to him it's ball one looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. The 1 0 home he is looked at for the first strike. And there is our officiating crew in this one calling balls and strikes, Mr. Freddie Ferguson. Hey, D Row, you better be ready to swing, particularly at that low pitch. Freddie Ferguson, low ball umpire. Yeah, it makes it tough on the offense. I, I was a guy who liked the low ball, but that usually means those guys are susceptible to that slider in the dirt. You have to see the ball up, and this guy doesn't give you a chance. Yeah, a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. An inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on. Up next will be the power bat of Peter Romano. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Number 20. First pitch of the at bat. It's down, and their first hit of the new campaign is going for extra bases. He'll get it into second. But he'll be in there with a double. And there's probably no happier person in the ballpark. Peter Alonzo has just collected his first hit in the big leagues. And as is customary, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case.
Yeah, good for him, and congratulations. Listen, he's worked his entire lifetime for this moment, and he's obviously trying to play cool right now, but you can bet inside his head, he's on top of the world. Into the box now, Michael Conforto, as Scherzer's able to move ahead of him with strike one. Alonzo leads off second with nobody out. Scherzer. A right-hander standing six foot three. He was a first-round pick or in the first-year player draft of 2006. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first-rounder, and they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Hit sharply on the ground. Kendrick has it, and that's out number one. So a definite RBI spot here. Runner at third, one away. And up next, the big RBI-minded bat of Ioannis Cespedes. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Drilled down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. No, you try and execute a pitch, Dan. I'll leave you to answer that. But right there as a batter, you see the infield back. You take everything, all the variables into consideration. You're not trying to do too much. Anything on the ground that stays off the corners gets you an RBI. Now mix in the fact that it found the hole, and he's got a knock to go with it. You know, it's so frustrating as a pitcher, d -Row. You think what you make is a good pitch. Infield playing back, the ball is able to sneak through a base hit. And the throws offline a bit as it gets by him at third. He got the pitch he wanted, and he didn't miss it right there. Hammer the job. Jed Lowry. Here's Jed Lowry now. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. The pitcher. Nice piece of hitting right there. Looked like the guy on second had to respect it and freeze a little bit. He had to freeze there for a second to make sure that line drive gets down, but eventually does get the third base. Into the box, Jacob deGrom. Line drive, that's a base hit into the right center field gap. Oh, and he misses it. The run scores from second. It's a 3-0 game. Boy, Dero, talk about adding now insult to injury the right there. And the pitcher gets a two-RBI base hit. Yeah, and if he throws a gem, Dan, without question, he's getting his name in the box. He's all over the box scoring this one. Ribbies, innings pitch, strikeouts, all of the above. Into the box now, Robinson Cano, and their runners at the corners now. Cano waits on the first pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Three runs already home here. Line drive to center field. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. The center fielder, number nine, Brandon Nimmo. Two on here with one man out, and ready to bat next, the Wyoming native, Brandon Nimmo. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High in the air into shallow left center. Soto is after it. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. 
And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. Jeff McNeil will be the next to take a turn. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last yeah. A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. No balls in one strike. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. Soto is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Nine men come to the plate for score. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Mets lead this one four to nothing. Juan Soto to the plate now, and they've got some work Leading to do early four on. Nothing. Down four nothing no already. Fielder. Lots of. Oh. Baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. And there's out number one. Here's Matt number Adams eight. now in previous Matt. duels with the ground. He's a 300 hitter, three for ten. First delivery to him on the way. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. And now a pitch on the way. Oh. Sets the target low here, and it misses one and one. Adams is a big threat in a matchup like this. He's got a ton of pop against right-handed pitching. Yeah, I think because of his approach. He's not a dead pull guy. You want to try and sneak a piece of cheese in or hang something over the heart of the plate, he's going to absolutely crush it. But anything going away from him goes right into his bat path. To two and two now. Two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Another 2-2. Two, two. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 two, two, one more time. Rounded softly down the line toward first. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Popped up. Cano over to his left. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now with the play, Howie Kendrick, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch coming here it is hit on the ground down the first baseline but a foul ball here 0 and 1 two out nobody on Strike on the outside part of the plate, 0 and 2. 
He looks really strong here early in this game and that fastball is a good example. Put that thing in a great spot and right where he wanted it.